Hey, reader. <laughs> hey, it's Ina the Mood Reader and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing to you my book sale haul and it's 10 books for 1,000 pesos. So if you're interested to know the books that I got, please keep on watching! Okay, so uh, before I get it on with the haul, uh, let me just tell you a little something about Book Sale. If you're not from the Philippines, you probably don't know about it, but Book Sale is our uh, thrift store here in the Philippines that caters solely about books and there are very few thrift stores here um, in the country, so Book Sale has been a part of the lives of many 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 Philippine bookworms like me and it has been my saving grace I remember in high school when I only got a few pesos um, to spare because of my very little allowance or baon as we call it so until now I still enjoy visiting book sale every once in a while to check on the good finds that I can get from there so, like I said uh, at the start of the video, I was able to go out for the first time uh, to the mall after a few months of quarantine and uh, though it was not really the main purpose why I visited the mall, um, I couldn't resist uh, checking out book sale for a few minutes and uh, I, I ended up getting 10 books from the store. And, if you're curious, the the book sale branch that I visited is in SM South Mall, Las Piñas. Okay, so let's start. First, I got here, uh, the book I got here is Queen of Babel in the Big City by Meg Cabot. And I got this book for 10 pesos. Um, actually, I have read a f the, I know this is a part of a series and I have read, I think, um, a few of the books in uh, the Queen of Babel series, what I loved about this book, books it, are the few short um, tips or advice uh, sections like this one. Um, before uh, the start, the beginning of every chapter. And I know this is very outdated already. Um, the generation of chiclet. Uh, I think decades ago, but um, Queen of Babel will always have a special spot in my heart and I couldn't resist uh, to get it. After all, it's just for 10 pesos. Next here, I got uh, 30 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson. Um, I remember I got a hardcover copy of this book from Book Sale as well um, way back, but I already unhauled it and I decided to revisit this story since it's only worth 35 pesos and really a steal though um, the book really has signs of wear and tear I, I remembered how much I loved reading this book when I was in college or high school I can really remember but I'd like to revisit this book soon in the coming month. The third book that I got is a part of a series this is um, Crossed by Ali Condi and um, this is one of the most, my most favorite series when I was starting to collect books. But unfortunately, um, I never had a physical copy of the books. Though I know this is actually a part of, um, not, I mean not the first book but the middle part of the series. I, am I correct? I think this is the sec I think it's the second part. But um Cross I mean the match series is um uh, again one of the my favorite uh, teenage reads and I'm excited to revisit this um maybe ten years after and see if I, I would still like it as much as I did when I was younger. The next book that I got is a little uh, on the pricey side if you are uh, considering a book sale buy. But it's a hardcover anyway, so I still got it. It's The Takedown by Corey Wang. 
and it's worth 130 pesos. I got this one because I was uh, called by its cover and also the uh, short synopsis of the story. If I'm not mistaken, this book features a an Asian character lead so I'm excited to get to know more about this book and I think it's about um, uh, a scandal in a school in a high school f um, from its valedictorian so I really really enjoy um, books with a high school setup with a hint of mystery or a thriller so um, let's see um, if I'm going to enjoy the takedown. Next book that I got is The Light We Lost by Jill Santo Polo and um, I think this is a romance novel though I am unfamiliar with this book I still chose to get it because of the blurb here at the back um, let me read it for you um, he was the first person to inspire her to move her to truly understand her was he meant to be the last so it's about making a life-altering choice for the main characters Lucy and Gabe. Um, this book uh, spans through a 13-year timeline uh, discussing um, the relationship of these two um, people who met in college and how their relationship progressed. Of course, um, in long relationships, there's always a few what-ifs. So I think that's what Lucy and Gabe will explore in the story. So I'm excited to read this one. And the next three books that I got is actually a part of my favorite series of all time ever, ever, ever. And it's the Legend series by Mary Lou. Actually, I got this three books for 145 pesos each, which is very expensive for a book sale if you ask me. But especially if you look at the the age or the actual wear and tear the usage um, in the books and also because if you can see here they are the same editions prodigy is a different one but i still chose to buy uh, these books because i unhauled my cop original copy of these series a few years back when i thought i was giving up books entirely and i regret that deeply so i bought another <laughs> copy of the trilogy and Probably I'll also unhaul the Prodigy copy once I find uh, one that's similar to the size of the other two. And of course, Legend, the Legend trilogy talks about the journey of June and Day, and it's very action-packed. And the romance is slow burn, and I don't want to sm uh, spoil everything, but it's actually full of angst and emotion and I remember um, getting frustrated at times or um, getting teary at times and I remember I just breezed through the trilogy I think in a day or two um, because I read it in uh, a summer break when I was in college and I don't know I, <laughs> I really can't um, say how much I love these uh, books so I'm planning to revisit the legend trilogy and uh, read the other books written by Mary Lou so that's why I grabbed a copy of this one and I have to um, go with the copies that I have even though it doesn't match right now but again, it's still a good price, 145 for each of these three books. And lastly, the last book in this haul is My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry by Frederick Backman. Um, I've always seen uh, people raving about Frederick Backman in the Facebook bookish community groups that I'm in, as well as in Goodreads and in other booktube videos. But I haven't um, read any of his books yet. So when I saw this one on book sale, I thought 145 is really a good price uh, for a book like this. And um, this one specifically is um, told in the eyes of a seven-year-old girl who 
um, lived with her grandmother and unfortunately her grandmother died with um, some letters of apologies for people that she has hurt in her life and Elsa has the burden now or the task of distributing these letters and trying to correct her grandmother's mistakes so I am sure um, this one will be uh, very heavy or heartfelt if you're into those emotions you'll probably enjoy this one I have read a short story written by Frederick Bachman actually I've listened to it via script and I forgot the title but I'll show it here um, and I really really enjoyed that one even though it was a quick read so I'm sure this one will also tug on my heartstrings so i'll update you guys i'll probably include it in future um, possibility files or tbrs and that's it i have showed you guys the 10 books that i got from book sale for 1000 i finished the haul when i remembered that i still had this one um, on the book sale haul so if you total um this is the one that's missing from the total of actually 1,005 pesos and I got here a copy of Judith McNaught's Whitney My Love and I got it for 85 pesos. I bought this book because Judith McNaught is my mom and my dad's favorite romance author and I remember um, when I was in high school and early college uh, my mom and I used to scour through book sale to find Judith Judith <laughs> Judith McNaught's books. This book is actually one of my least favorite Judith McNaught novels because the male protagonist is frustrating and he's very you know how since it's a historical romance of course the men are usually frustrating and well until now they're still frustrating so <laughs> but this duke um clayton westmoreland was one of the worst um people i've read in romance but i still loved um the story um when i feel like feeling angry <laughs> or hate reading or you know <laughs> just wallowing in some sadness because whitney here our heroine has been through so many things in this story. We sold uh, my mom's collection of Ju Judith McNaught novels a few years back when again I decided to unhaul all of my books um, a few years ago to quit the community but instead it just drew me in. <laughs> it pulled me back so now I'm starting to um, regain <laughs> the books that I've lost so this one is part of it and I'm very much on the hunt for more Judith McNaught novels. By the way guys, if you have reached the end of the video, I would just like to remind you that my giveaway is still ongoing. You can still put your entries in until the 25th of July, 8am Philippine time and you can get the chance to um, win the book trolley that I shared with you guys. I'll link the uh, the video here or here and you can also comment down on this video I'm joining the giveaway and that will count as an additional entry again thank you guys and see you next time